welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have an empties video for you. I have many things here, so I'm just gonna get started. Body products. I did use up three of the Ulta brand body washes, pink petals, fresh water mist, and pomegranate lime. These are good general body washes. There's nothing, you know, crazy or fabulous about them. All the scents are fresh, and a couple of them a little bit sweet. Not anything real distinctive about them. It's good all-around general body washes. Would I purchase them again? Maybe. They're not like on the getting the stink eye list. They're pretty good. My next body wash was from Bath and Body Works, the Vanilla Bee Noel. I love the initial smell of this because it smells like yummy, buttery vanilla. But there's some kind of smell. The after smell of the Bath and Body Works shower gels that I don't really like. It's a chemical type smell. I don't think that I'm gonna purchase this one again. It's not something that would get the stink eye, but it's a meh. The next body wash I have is Dove Deep Moisture. This was very creamy. Rich has a light smell, sweet side, a fresh sweet kind of smell. I got this as a freebie. I would not purchase this because on the back, it says that it's made with soybean oil or sunflower seed oil. And I feel like they ought to make a choice, either soybean or sunflower, not just whatever's handy that day and they throw it in the batch. Next, I have Boots Extracts Cranberry Body Scrub, which does smell cranberry-ish. And it seemed like it was gonna be very creamy and make you feel very hydrated, but it didn't. It actually made me feel dry. After I got out of the shower and dried off, I felt really, really dry. And it is supposed to be a body scrub, but there weren't enough of the scrubby beads to make you feel like you were exfoliated. It's a body scrub that didn't exfoliate and made me dry. This one's definitely a no. Mm. Next, Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I've heard so many people raving about this and talking about how much they love it. I used this throughout the winter time and I did not like it. It made my face dry, which I know nobody else said, but for me, this was a uh-uh. The next product, I actually got this from my father-in-law. I know it has a man on it. The Good On You brand and this was a, it says micro Derm abrasion scrub. Mm, mm, mm. No, it had like ground up walnut shells in it. And so the pieces of the shells, I wish there was some in here so that I could show you, were too large to be a scrub. Microderm abrasion, did they understand what the word micro means? Obviously not. But as a face wash, I really like this. The number one ingredient is organic aloe. As far as a cleanser, I did like this. So as a cleanser, yay! As a scrub, mm, way missed the mark. My next cleanser was the Dermalogica Skin Resurfacing Cleanser. I did like this. It would make you have a little bit of a tingle on your face, so you need to be prepared for that, but it seemed to be a pretty good cleanser. It did have a not very pleasant odor. It's a chemical-y smell. I doubt that I would purchase that again. Next, I will go into my body lotions. I used up the Aveeno Daily Firming Moisturizing Lotion. I I did not notice any firming with this lotion, but as far as moisturizing, I really liked it. Next, Peter Thomas Raw Mega Rich Body Lotion. This is a yes. It was more of a light textured lotion, a creamy light. This was a good one. Just has a light smell. I don't really know how to describe it. A light, sweet lotion type smell. Next body lotion came in my glossy box. It's Milan and Goats. Go with, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Vitamin B5 Body Moisture. This was a very creamy nice lotion. It reminds me of one of the Origins products, the smell. It has that ginger smell. Oh, what is that? I can't remember the name of the face cream that Origin makes that has this the ginger smell. But that's exactly what it smells like. The only thing that was a pain in the butt about this was this bottle, which this is just a little sample size, so I'm sure it comes in some other bottle packaging other than this, but it was so creamy that it was really hard to get it out. But yes, if you have dry skin and need a nice creamy lotion, this is a good one. I like the smell of ginger. It's a zesty smell. The next body lotion that I have, this was actually a free sample from Ulta. It's the Hemp's Body Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. Mmm. This makes you smell like you are on a tropical island. It's fresh and yum. It just takes you away to a, a nice, warm, clear, sunny, fabulous day. Ah, so would I purchase that? Yes. My next lotion type item is the Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. This 
was very is very heavy with the almond oil so it had a very almond oil smell which smelled nice third ingredient is the beeswax I do not really care for beeswax products I mean something nice about this was you put this on washed your hands this would stay on even though you dried your hands you know how a lot of times you put hand lotion on and wash your hands dry them lotion's gone you have to reapply this state did stay on I just do not like that thick beeswax film that's on your hands from this type of product so I would not purchase that again. My next body related items, my secret clinical strength deodorants. Yes, well smelling fresh is a priority for me. Love these deodorants. I feel like they keep me fresh all day. I'm not sweating. Maybe I don't have those problems but when I get up to give presentations it's like my underarms want to sweat even though I don't feel nervous but my underarms are like telling a different story. So this, keeping the underarms at bay. So that's why I really like this. I have repurchased. Next, face creams. Received this in my glossy box. Naobe Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizing. I really liked this product. It's a light face lotion that is a little bit creamy. It makes you feel so hydrated. It has aloe in it and shea butter. I would purchase this. Yes. The only thing that it's missing is SPF from Lush. It's just a sample. It's the Skins Shangri-La. I have bought this before. Absolutely love this face cream. It is one of my favorites of all time. Mmm, it has a fresh nutty smell. If you're in Lush, at least ask for a sample of this. I think they they made me market it more towards dry skin, but even if you're normal skin or combination, dry it stuff is it's like butter on your face, but not greasy. It just goes on so creamy and nice and smooth. Ah, it is the bomb. Next, I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. I actually would use this at night. I would put on my serum and then put this over, and I mean, this will hydrate your face. If you have dry skin or you have a serum that you're wanting to lock in for the night to make sure you're getting all the good benefits, this is a good one. Another night cream that I have, this is actually by Rock, even though the name is nowhere on the package. Open it up. Oh, Rock. Multi-correction, nourish, stress repair, night cream is very very hydrating. It does have just a light, light smell. Creamy. It makes you feel hydrated in the morning. I will say it did not make me feel as hydrated as this, but this is like some serious hydration. Like you wake up in the morning, you are still having this on your face. This is not as thick. This would maybe be like your every night kind of cream, and this would be maybe once a week or twice a week kind of thing if you have dry, dry skin. Another product I tried was the My Prime Multi-Purpose Mattifying Moisturizer. I loved this even though my skin is more dry and now it's getting to be sort of like combination. I really liked this and I felt like it helps my uh, foundation stay on even though I do use a primer. I would purchase this again. Two others benefit. It's the Total Moisture Facial Cream. It's a light cream. Has a little bit of a perfumey smell. Can't really describe it any other way than just it smells like a perfumed face cream. Sorry. I did like this. I think that's a good product. Then Moisture Triple Performing Facial Emulsion Oil-Free SPF 15. I liked this as well. The only thing I didn't like about it is this is a glass bottle. It's kind of hard to get out of the bottle. But other than that, these I think came in a little set. I liked both of these. They hydrated my skin. Yes. A couple other face products. Slam Glow Youth Mud. Gone. Gone. Love this. I would definitely repurchase. I think it's a wonderful mask. It is a tingle mask. So you put it on. Leave it on for about 10 minutes. It does start to have that warming, tingling, that is stinging. But when you take this off, your face looks fresh, clean, it feels hydrated. It is a wonderful mask. This is worth the hype. Yes. Also, I had a couple little samples of the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And even though I don't have oily skin, I still felt like this did a really good job at making my skin look radiant, look clean, clear, feeling smooth, hydrated. I don't think that I would purchase this one. I would purchase the Youth Mud before I would purchase this this because slingering is not my issue. The youth mud, that's where I need to get. I have a few hair products. I tried the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment Light because my hair is very fine so that's why I went with the light. But I have to tell you, no, I would not purchase this again because it didn't seem to do squat. So tried it once, I used it all. No. My next one is from Fantastic Sam's. It's Fantastic Style Volumizing Root Lifter. Look y'all, if you have not tried products from Fantastic Sam, scratch your booty on down and get some because they make really great products. And 
I think this is like $8. This is one of those products, a foam, you shake it, you lift up your hair, you put it right in there in the root, work it into the root. Yes, it does work. Yes, I will be buying this again. Next hair product I have is the Matrix Baboon Shape Maker Extra Hold Shaping Spray. Shaping spray my foot. This stuff gets too sticky, can't move your hair. I don't like my hair to be just all stuck. I want to be able to, I want it to move around and look natural. I don't want it to just, you know what I mean, go to move your hair and it's like the whole top of it just it all moves as one piece. No, I want it to have some life and you know, be able to move it around. One day I may have somebody who actually like wants to touch my hair and I don't want them to be all like, ooh, helmet head. Ooh. No, Matrix, no. I have just a few more products. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer with SPF 15. This does give you a dewy, radiant look. And if you use a primer that is a radiant primer, well, honey, you are gonna be glowing. My skin is dry. I put this on and some radiant primer. I'm like the sunshine. Just kind of be aware of that. I did really like it. I did think it worked as far as helping my makeup stay. I like that it had SPF in it because so many of the moisturizers that I use don't, though I was able to kill two birds with one stone. Prime my foundation and get some SPF in there. I really do like this. This is one I bought on eBay. I should have known better. Erase paste in number one fair. You've seen this at the store. You know how creamy and nice it is. It's very peach. Well, look at this mess. It's dry, the product was separating, it's not creamy. Let me stick my finger in here and show you. You dig it out, you see how it comes out. The race paste should not be like that. And then when you put it on, it goes on, it seems like it's gonna be okay, but it, it breaks down so fast. This is not a good representation of a race paste. I won't ever buy products like this on eBay. I will just go to the store. I was trying to save a little money. Wrong! You end up wasting money. Go to the store, you know you're getting the real thing. It's just going in the trash because it is a waste. I think it's just old. Next, Palladio Herbal Eye Primer. I won't purchase this again. I've moved on to some others that I really like and actually work so much better. The Urban Decay, the Stila Prime Pot. If you calculate how much the amount of product that you get for the money because you think, oh, this is only like eight or nine dollars. I'm saving money. Calculate the amount that you spend on the ounces of this compared to the higher end brand, which to me are better. I think you come out about the same price. Take your little trusty calculator. Do yourself a little math. I think you will find you should just go ahead, plop the 20 down for the Irma Decay or the Stila because one, you're going to enjoy it a whole lot more than this. It's going to make your products stay a whole lot longer. Really, you're not saving any money with this. Next, Hypnostrama Mascara. I just use this bad boy up until it is just dry, dry, dry. I was glad that I was saving it for this empties video because I ended up washing the wand and using it for my Lush Eyes Right. I've already purchased another one. I think it's a great mascara. A few of my other products that are, that are going in the empties been, even though they're not empty, are some of my Estee Lauder lipsticks. These are some of those freebies that come with the kit, so like gift with purchase, but I guess I've just had them too long. They are separating. They like just come out. It's just a glob. You can see the clear part there, and then like the color part. They're just dead. Bye-bye, Estee Lauder glasses. Nice knowing ya. Then my last. Ooh-wee, girl. Mm -hmm. Lash Grip Adhesive, oh man, oh man. Not that Lash Adhesive has a fabulous smell to begin with, but this stuff, oh, good girl, mm -mm. It's such a raunchy stench that I really don't even know how to describe it without making all of you gag. It's horrific. Zombies with rotting flesh and eyeballs hanging out of their face and no lips covering their old grimy, grungy teeth would smell better than this stuff. <sighs> yeah. into the empty bin it goes, though it's not empty. So that was it. This is my first empties video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it was fun for you just to see products that I've tried and finished up. I like to watch empties videos. That's why I decided to do one of my own. Be sure to check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!